Okay, by now we have downloaded MetaTrader 5, we have done the setup and we have also created a demo account that supports hatching. So now it should be easy to connect MetaTrader 5 with our newly created demo account. So let's see. MetaTrader 5 automatically scanned for servers and found this one. So if you click on continue, you can type in the account number 2343699 and the password. And now you would click on finish. Incoming mail. And if everything went well, you should see that you are connected. Did you hear that annoying sound? The MetaTrader is going to spam you right from the start. So let's turn off that annoying sound. In the first step I'm going to change the language to English and that will cause a restart. If you can't get connected here, the reason might be that you have chosen the wrong server. In this case you see we have two different names here. So please double check the server name if you experience connection problems. We have to adjust a few settings before we can start to trade automatically. So let's click on tools, options. And the very first thing I always disable is the annoying sound event. Unless you disable this option, your PC will make sounds like a cartoon. On the tab for server, we disable the news because we don't need them. And for the charts, we only need 5000 bars. That's more than enough for automated trading. The trade settings are also important because the last used volume here is much too high. I will change it to 10 microlot. Hit the Expert Advisors tab and allow automated trading. I always remove the two marks here because I don't want my Expert Advisors to be disabled when I change anything. With the notification option you would be able to send push notifications to your mobile device. This works for iPhone and Android devices. You could also send email or upload your results to an FTP server. The options for community and signals can also be left as they are. When you are satisfied with all your settings, please click on OK. Now this auto trading option should be enabled. And in the next step we are going to set up our charts.